Welcome back. You're still tuned into Power Breakfast. Well, it's talk, time to talk about commodity markets. A lot of action happening in there as well. Manisha Gupta, as always, is joining us with all the update. Hey, Manisha, good morning. Morning, Sonal. Thank you for that. Well, if last week was all about the monetary policy meetings of central banks, this week is going to be all about the inflation data that we are expecting from Singapore, Australia, Japan, as well as Germany as well. So ahead of that, we've seen the crude oil prices hold on to its gains. $90 has been back. This is after Russia has banned fuel exports to ex-Soviet states. Also, when you look at the U.S. oil rig count, that has seen a decline of 8 to 507 now, which is the lowest since Feb 2022. The U.S. Cushing stocks are also at a July 2022 lows. So the markets are looking at lower supplies, lower production, lower inventories, and the demand seemingly keeping steady. The markets also are staring at a fourth quarter deficit estimate and that seems to be supporting the outlook for crude oil prices. The most interesting has been the J.P. Morgan report, which says that next year the crude oil prices will trade between $90 to $110, and the prices can go to uh, nearly $120 as well in 2025. And they have hiked uh, expectations on crude prices going forward from here, and that clearly shows in prices today. Okay, $120 for barrel by 2025. Thank you, Manisha, for joining us with that take and what's happening in the commodity markets. 